Hello and welcome back to Skills with Scott. Now in this video, in my never ending effort to get dummy thick muscular thighs, I'm going to be learning how to do the reverse Nordic curl. Let's get started. So there was a little bit of a snag when uh, I tried doing my first Nordic curl. Uh, turns out I could already do one. Didn't know that actually, never tried that before, thought it was going to be way harder. and. Turns out I could actually do one. So, seeing as how I uh, finished the goal in the first day, I got to change that. So now the goal for this video is going to be me learning how to do 20 consecutive Nordic reverse curls, reverse Nordic curls, in a week. So, let's get at it. Now that I had to change up the whole goal for the video, I had to also switch up how I was training for it as well. After I did my first reverse Nordic curl, I quickly went back and found out what my max rep range was. Turns out it was around nine. So then I knew I would have six days to add 11 reps to my max. My first thought for training was to use bands and try and hit between 15 to 20 reps a day to help add to my max range. And I quickly learned that this was the wrong approach and that the bands actually made my form a lot worse and weren't allowing me to fully engage the muscles I needed to train. You'll notice in some of the videos that when I'm nearing the top of the rep, I'm actually bending uh, forward at my hips. This was causing the motion to actually be a lot easier. And I noticed this around day seven Fixing it wasn't too difficult, it just meant isolating my glutes and making sure they are fully uh, engaged and contracted when I was doing the rep. With five days left, I changed up my approach again and decided to do one set max reps and one set of six reps twice a day and increase my total reps each day. So at day three, I was doing 12 rep max and by day six, I was doing 15 max and I would need to make up the last five reps by day seven on the final day. Well, there you have it. A max rep range of 23 reverse Nordic curls in one week. My God, this was actually a really difficult challenge to pull off. In the beginning, I honestly thought I was gonna have trouble just doing one rep on a reverse Nordic curl, only to find out, hey, now I've gotta do 20. Um, the hardest part of this whole challenge was actually finding out that my form was off and that I was bending forward at the hips on my way up and learning how to fix that and what muscles I actually needed to be engaging to do uh, the rep with perfect form, which meant a lot more glute and core engagement, which makes it way harder. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just hard getting those reps out. I don't know if you've noticed in uh, the last video where I was doing uh, the final test, at the later ranges of those reps, it, it was getting very difficult and I had to push through it because until then, I think the max I did in any given uh, set was 16. So I was adding four more to meet the goal and I ended up doing 23 total because I lost count halfway through and forgot which number I was on. So I did, I believe, 23 total. But overall, super happy with how this turned out. Now I have a leg workout 
and I can pretty much do anywhere, whether I'm traveling or at home. And I know that when I do it, it's going to be great, going to give me a great burn and, you know, once again, help me get those dummy thick muscular thighs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, have a great rest of your day.